God inspires us to know more about Jesus. This particular passage is one of the few um, that gives us an idea of all three parts because Jesus is the one speaking and he's talking about um, the Father and um, and about being with us. So I'll let you take a break from reading this time and I'll read this one to you. Gospel of John, chapter 16, verses 12 through 15. Jesus is saying, I still have many things to say to you, but you cannot bear them now. When the spirit of truth comes, he will guide you into all the truth. For he will not speak on his own, but will speak whatever he hears, and he will declare to you the things that are to come. He will glorify me, because he will take what is mine and declare it to you. All that the Father has is mine. For this reason, I said that he will take what is mine and declare it to you. So it's interesting that in this particular passage, we have male pronouns for the Holy Spirit, because the word itself for spirit is a female word, and because we see that the tradition had been female, talking about wisdom in a female way. Um, but how wonderful that Jesus acknowledges sometimes we aren't ready to learn things. Sometimes we aren't ready to hear things. But in time, we'll be ready. You know, when he says, you can't bear them right now, it gives us a chance to be ready to learn. It meets us where we are on our life's journey. Gives us what we can handle with the promise that the further we make our progression in our own life, the more we'll understand, the more we'll know, the more that will be shared with us, the more that will be opened up to us. What a beautiful thing to know that we are an ongoing work in progress with the Holy Spirit, with the Creator, with the Son, acting as a team to help us make that growth progression. And then it's important to look at the whole. It's a skewed picture if you separate and you look at creator, spirit, son. You also have to mush it back together and look at Trinity. And that's what we get in Romans chapter 5, verses 1 through 5. If you'd like to read that with me, please. Therefore, since we are justified by faith, we are at peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. Through whom we have obtained access to this grace in which we stand, and we boast in our hope of sharing in the glory of God. And not only that, but we also boast in our sufferings, knowing that suffering produces endurance, and endurance produces character, and character produces hope. And hope does not disappoint us, because God's love has been poured into our hearts through the Holy Spirit that has been given to us. What a beautiful gift to be reminded of, that God's love is poured into our hearts, that the Holy Spirit is with us. And to remind ourselves that all of those times when things just seem so difficult, so hard to understand, so difficult to cope with, we are not alone, and we're becoming stronger. We're becoming better able to cope with things because we have God with us all the time. All the time. Whether we're aware of God's presence with us or not, we are never alone. I don't know if I'll ever 100% wrap my brain around this because I like to make things neat little images. And when you do a, try to do an image of three things that are distinct and separate and have their own characteristics, and then you try to do an image of three things that are one, but still separate, my brain can't quite do it. I get some interesting morphed images but not something that really completely satisfies my mind that, yes, this is what it must be. This is how this must work to have Father, Son, and Holy Spirit in one. What a 
a wonderful thing to just spend time imagining, thinking about, and be comfortable when you don't have to get it. I don't have to ever understand how they can be free and one. I just have to accept that I'm never alone, that God's love is poured out on me through the Holy Spirit, that my heart is filled with God's love, that I have the Spirit to guide me, to carry me, to be the wind that blows me in the directions I need to go when I don't have the strength or the desire to move in those ways, that I have Jesus to be my example, my teacher, my companion, my brother, that he has declared me a joint heir with him of all things that are God's, and that I have God to be father, mother, creator, sustainer, and I have all three working together constantly.